Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel, Biology with Meena Kalai Teacher. In this class, we are going to learn how to draw LS of human heart. Okay, it is little bit difficult for the students to draw. So, I will teach you how to draw the diagrams. If you know the diagrams properly and know, able to label all the parts very clearly. So, the teacher, one who check, checks your paper will understand that these students understand the topic very well. Okay, so students can understand the functions of heart. Okay, and the students, so diagram is very important in biology. So, this is related to standard 10th. Okay, so listen here. See, students, all of you take the, take a pencil, eraser and a piece of paper, sit and draw behind me. Okay. First, you first you draw one diagonal di line. Okay. So then Okay, so we will make this little bit thick because this is cardiac muscle. In board exam, you cannot use any color. You can use only pencil and blue pen. You know that is black pen is also not allowed. So, you use pencil only to draw the diagram. Okay, so human heart has four chambers. We have four chambers heart. Two atria, two ventricles. Okay, atrium is singular, atria is plural. Okay, so always you consider the diagram is like this, but in our heart is kept like this. So, in the diagram, this side is left side, this side is right side. So, this is left. This is right. Okay. So, these two are ventricles. In between the ventricles, there is a septum. One layer of septum is there. This is interventricular septum okay so here you see from this this is right right ventricle right part of the heart from this right ventricle main blood vessel is arised Okay, you see, see here. here, this is left side, this is right side, it is left atrium, in the left atrium, so through these blood vessels, these blood vessels are known as pulmonary veins, these through these pulmonary veins, Oxygenated blood is coming to left atrium. So left side completely it is oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood means pure blood. Oxygenated blood. Okay. So here if you see here. This is 
Vina Keva. Lower Vina Keva, it is upper Vina Keva. So this is lower Vina Keva. It is upper Vina Keva. This Vena Keva collects of deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body. Lower Vena Keva collects a deoxygenated blood from lower parts of the body. Upper Vena Keva collects a deoxygenated blood from upper part of the body. And but this is right atria, atrium receives all the deoxygenated blood, impure blood. Okay. So then see here this is two ventricles. In between this septum is known as interventricular septum. This is cardiac muscles. Okay, so this is this blood vessel is. Pulmonary artery. Here, these blood vessels are pulmonary vein. Pulmonary vein carry oxygenated blood. From lungs to right left atrium. Okay. So this is left atrium. This is right atrium. This is right ventricle. This is left ventricle. Okay. So this Pulmonary, this is pulmonary artery is protected by, these vessels are protected by a valve that is semilunar valve. So this is semilunar valve. Here, small opening must be there. So from this left ventricle, another one blood vessel is arising. So that blood vessel is known as Iota. This blood vessel is known as Iota. Iota is the main blood vessel carrying oxygenated blood from heart to all parts of the body. Okay. So this here, this iota is also, it is also, blood flow is controlled, protected by a vessel that is valve, by valve that is semilunar valve. Okay. So here, if you see, Here it is. This this is called aperture. Aperture means what is small opening. Here it is. It is present in between the atrium and ventricle. So it is left side. So left atrioventricular Atrioventricular aperture. 
aperture means a small hole so this is known as right atrioventricular aperture okay so here we see now we will see the blood flow how the blood is movement of the blood is there so here you see uh, oxygenated blood is coming into left atrium so all these blood vessels ending we will draw this small circle okay so because when this cut to this cut you can see this like this okay now you see here how the blood is flowing here blood is coming into left atrium through pulmonary vein and enter into left ventricle so this left atrioventricular aperture is protected by by cuspid valve by cuspid valve right atrial aperture is protected by tricuspid valve so this right and tri how can you remember so right right tri you can remember like this right atrium atrium and right ventricle in between right atrium and right ventricle tricuspid valve so right and right tri okay here it is protected by bicuspid valve okay so blood come to right left atrium from the left atrium it enters into aorta and it carries to all parts of the body here you see deoxygenated blood this deoxygenated blood is carried by pre vena cava and post vena cava from all parts of the body and blood comes to right atrium from right atrium it flows into right ventricle when the atria contract okay right ventricle when the ventricle ventricles contract this blood from this deoxygenated blood flows from right ventricle to pulmonary artery here it is left ventricle to aorta okay only this art artery carries deoxygenated blood so all the arteries carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery all the veins carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary veins okay here you can see the now you can understand the structure of the heart and how can you draw this diagram also you would have understood very clearly okay students thank you